What a great intro. Welcome yes. back to your Feel Good Breakfast so Show. It's there. This is the great thing. You know, and it actually sets it up for something that is going to be so epic. It's a game review. And uh, if you just stepped in, this is Expresso. You're live in S3. And let me set the scene for you very, very quickly. So, Guardians of the Galaxy, it's one of the biggest Marvel franchises out at the moment. And it's made the jump from the silver screen to gaming consoles finally. And I'm excited about this because in my ears at the moment, I'm hearing the, the chirps that you would hear from Star-Lord in the movie, but it's in a game. Now, Grant Hines joins us for a game review of the game, Guardians of the Galaxy. Grant's always a pleasure, brother. Also with an intro. Yes, you know, I, I hope that you, if you weren't excited this morning <laughs> and you are sitting at home eating your cereal, I hope you are now. Yes. And if you, if you are a gamer, this is a good time, right? It is. It's, it's, we're entering game season now. FIFA usually kicks it off. Yep. And all these games start coming out all the way till Christmas. So there's a lot to keep your eyes on. And one of those big games is Guardians of the Galaxy. Obviously, with Chris Pratt's film, yeah. kind of like launched it into huge success. We've had the comic book series for a very long time. And as you can see, it is absolutely stunning. And they've done a really good rendition. It's not the same characters, so everybody that wants to know, it's not exactly who you think. But okay. in terms of, it's not the same actors as the film. But it's okay. the same characters from the comic. So I'm Star-Lord, this is Groot. I'm Groot. Yeah, I'm Groot, yes, and this is Rocket Raccoon, and we are busy like working our way through a story mission, and that's kind of indicative of this experience. It is a linear story uh, that you progress and you go through, and you can use, as Star-Lord, as the player, you yeah. can use the other members of your team to do things. Like, I just got Groot to grow this, this wooden bridge across this way, because we're kind of trying to get into this, uh, into this uh, spaceship. This um, is so cool. Yeah, it's, it's very cool, it's very beautiful. And, it, oh, you've got all the chirps, like Rocket Raccoon, man. Yeah. You just, you get, you just wanna, he's so rude, man. He's got that, that attitude, yeah, you know? Yeah, he's so rude, man. You just go like, yay, this, this raccoon. And, uh, you know, you, you get a sense of that bantering. And then you can banter back. So there's a capacity for you to, uh, right now we're bantering now. See, Rocket yes. Raccoon's got a score on the top there, seven, and I've got one. That's well, uh, because- What's the match? See, we, he just says, oh, like all these maggots around this uh, alien and I is going, okay, cool. First, he's made a bet with me that he wants to, that he's going to beat me. It's inconsequential, but you know, he's going to, when yeah. we go back to the spaceship, I'm not going to hear the end of it. So I've got to just make sure that I get these. Yeah, I've got... And I think a story mode for a, a game that has been a, adopted from a movie, I think that's actually like really great because you can, you can live the experience. Like you can go watch Guardians of the Galaxy and then jump onto the console and play. Yes, and also they've just spent a lot of time and energy on, in it. They made the Avengers game, which wasn't as good, in my opinion. Yeah. So and this is a lot more slick. And Guardians, as a premise, is very exciting you know, because it's a game where you can get to go across the entire universe to different planets and follow this incredible story in the Marvel Universe. Right now, this if you are a Marvel fan, yeah. you'll know that we're inside a Sentinel's head. So there was this massive war in the Marvel Universe in oh, okay. space. Are you, these, are you in nowhere? Sorry? Are you, are you in nowhere at the moment? I'm in the middle of a, of a planet. That, that That's we've so discovered. cool, man. And the, there was an intergalactic space battle yeah. in the Marvel Universe and the Sentinels heads here. And we're kind of just like collecting things as we go along. And we're about to, things are about to go down. So, you know, it's, it's, really, it's really interesting um, when it comes to like just that banter and just being a part of the Marvel Universe in a very deep and unique way. So, so technically, gameplay-wise, is it smooth? Is uh, you know, is it really kind of connecting to the? Is, is there enough action yeah. to give? Yeah. So this Marvel is a great justice? example. Yeah. So I, I'm going to enter Guardians mode, and Guardians mode allows me to use the other members of my team yeah. to do something. So I'm going to use Rocket Raccoon to to uh, throw a cluster cluster bomb at this uh, at this alien that's trying to get me. There's just shows me what he's. The what loose he's cannon. Doing. And you can see how the funny the funniness is it like, uh, like of this. So check. This is, where's my, where's my melee? I can like kick these, these things are just like, get away from me. <laughs> like, you know I, what I mean? I just want to also ask, like, you know, the, the 80s music and the 70s oh, it music. Oh, so good. Is the music in here like that? It oh, so good. that's brilliant. So, literally, you unlock stuff as you play. Um, that's cool, man. It even starts off, I, I, like, I wish I could show you so much more, but when it starts off, you get to uh, listen to a whole bunch of old music. Uh, through a tape cassette player, That's and it. you start rewinding and playing the tape cassette player, and I just like I called Amble into the room. I was like, "Yo, this is nostalgic." I, I like remember playing on a Sony. Like, yes, you know, like and you have to like oh, and, and recording. I mean, you know, on a cassette, recording songs on the radio is just one of the things that we did. But like that's I did. That, I just time. I was I wanted to ask that because obviously with Star Lord, that was like one of the main features. The unique selling point is the fact that that love for old music and that sort of the fact that he stuck in time in a lot of ways after leaving Earth and actually just, you know, being part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I mean, his jacket is a Star-Lord jacket. Like, Star-Lord is, a, I think it's a Led Zeppelin uh, album. 
you know, and that's, you know, that's just showing you that, yeah, he is stuck in time and he's got that old, like, way about him. Get away from me! This is, I play FIFA again, look at this! Yeah. And ah. this is what gaming does, it's so, it's, it's exciting. I do think it's, it's really awesome and I, I think this is one that I would really want to get into because I love story modes. Uh, I think that in terms of my personal gaming, I know there's a lot of online modes Oops, for many uh-oh. different games, but I think a story mode like this and a campaign that you can go and pause and get back to all the time, it is actually just brilliant. So, Guardians of the Galaxy, Grant Hines, uh, overall, what do you say? Great game. If you were to give it a score, I think a, a solid seven and a half seven out of ten. You know, like uh, there are a few things I would want improved, yeah. but like it brings me back to games of old. Single player story, exciting. I want to find out where this goes. Yeah. Very slick controls. Love it. Love it. All right, seven and a half out of ten. That sounds good. Go get, catch it. It's uh, on your uh, shelves at the moment. Guardians of the Galaxy. Very exciting. In fact, a little bit later, we've got some challenges that Grant has set for us in the Feel Good Breakfast Show, so stay there. <laughs>